Well, folks, here in Colorado, we have leash laws, and I believe most states have leash laws. Um, what does that mean, folks, keep their dogs on leashes? Well, a lot of you watching this probably have had uh, stories or had experiences where they didn't. I know personally, I've been on the trail. I've got, I've got a uh, nice park about a mile and a half from my house that I can take my pack string out and work them on, and I ride in quite a, quite a bit. But inevitably, there's somebody's got a dog off a leash, and most times they don't bother the animals. But there are times when the animals may pose a threat to you or your or your equine. So, you know, how do you defend yourself uh, short of shooting an animal in a public area? Well, what I do is I have a uh, this is our cell phone uh, GPS pouch that I've mounted right beside my hydro pouch on the on the uh, pommel yoke here. It's it's it makes it really easy to grab this pep this uh, actually is bear spray. And I use bear spray versus pepper spray because uh, pepper spray is a mist. Usually, it's for self-defense. This is an actually an actual stream. Uh, on the on the bottle, it claims it goes about 12 feet, but I've actually sprayed a dog at about 20, 25 feet with this, and it, it'll get out there a little farther. And so that's what you're looking for. You're looking for a, a bear spray because it's going to give you a stream versus a cloud. Uh, why is that? Well, you got the wind. Uh, even even with this stream, the wind's going to play a factor. But th with that cloud, you're really if you're up in the saddle, you really want a stream so you can really aim it better. Uh, um, that's, and that's one of the things to think about is you know the wind. Make sure you are upwind if you use this stuff because you don't want to hit your 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 animals and yourself in the process of trying to defend yourself. Because this has got uh, CS military tear gas in it, uh, red pepper, and a UV dye. Uh, and it will last quite a while. This is some nasty, nasty stuff. So uh, there's a safety on the top there. It slid over on safety. Now you want to slide it back into the fire position, hold it away from your body, and spray whatever you got to spray. And it, it's got quite a bit in it too, so it'll last a while. So if you're gonna if you're gonna get something like this, first of all, check check your state. Make sure there aren't any any special rules or regulations for carrying bear spray. Uh, and then make sure you get. I mean, you can get some bigger bottles than this too. Uh, but this works, like I said, way better than uh, red pepper spray. So just a little tip for you there. If you're on the trail and you want to stay safe, you want to keep those dogs away from you, this is a really good option. So thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Take care.